don't know if you can see this, but the thermometer between 90 and 100, about 95 degrees a day. Man, it's hot. Time for a little garden update. Been a while since I've done one, but things have obviously, if you look at the last video, have gone crazy. Crazy in a good way. I am uh, just got done. I usually wait and weed after I can uh, tell what all the volunteers are going to come up, but I've had a more than my share of volunteers this year. See my cucumbers here. They're coming up. I've already taken, I put down newspaper. I use a local newspaper. It's made from soy ink, so I can just put that down. Um, I then cover it with straw, try to keep all the moisture underground, and also it uh, helps, uh, you know, to, to, uh, to keep the weeds down. The weeds are horrible, um, and I really don't enjoy weeding. Oh, my onions, you can see. Uh, my bulbs inside of the ground are starting to get, oh, probably a, a not, not quite, you know, a, an open hand size. Um, uh, but uh, all these bean rows have just basically grown together into like a <laughs> one mega bush. But they're uh, starting to put on, you can see. These are like a kidney bean. But I've gotten volunteers everywhere. Up tomatoes especially um, uh, they just come up out of the ground I'm, let them go they got the will to live here's another one right in my okra row I'm um, a uh, second one in my okra row and you see I've gotten all this mulched my Roma tomatoes I'm very very happy with these I should be taking some tomatoes fairly soon you can see the size of these guys and they're very nice, and I've got literally dozens. I'd say I'm probably probably got about 30 or 40 romas that are, you know, somewhere between, say, this size down to that size I just showed you. And then uh, all the rest of my rows of tomatoes, you can see it's so bright out here, it's kind of hard to take a video. But some of my other volunteer tomatoes coming up in my peppers. <laughs> it's just. They're, they're coming up everywhere. I'm, uh, all the rest of my tomato rows. This, uh, this breed that I had to buy to replace some of the ones that I lost called Jetstar. Jeez, I mean, this thing is four foot tall right now. And uh, some of these have already started putting on tomatoes. They're good to some behind the clouds. So maybe get a little bit better quality video here. Uh, you can see all these jet star ones. They have really gone wild. I had a volunteer cucumber on the complete opposite side of the garden. Way over here by my corn. I've never planted it there in the past. I don't know if it's just from birds, you know, transporting pieces or what, but I ran out of steam. I got over to this side of the garden. Just I'm just sweating like crazy. It's, it's almost 100 degrees out here today, and I tell you, I'm... I don't feel like finishing weeding right now. I'm going to go inside, cool off for a little bit. But anyway, peppers are doing well. Question for anybody who can identify this. I don't know what in the world this thing is. But um, <laughs> it was one of the things that came up that I'm, I, I can't identify it. I don't know what it is. And uh, I think I'm going to just let it grow and see if it turns into anything that I recognize. But see my... I don't know if I pointed this out, but some of my yellow banana peppers, man, them things are literally hand length. And I'm gonna give you an update on the other garden. And for plot number two, mowed about the four acres out here yesterday. But uh, I mulched these last week, and just I have seen an explosion of these plants. I don't know if it has to do with the mulching or maybe it's just, you know, they finally got rooted real well. But it's holding the moisture in. These are all those, um, these are all the watermelon plants. Haven't seen any melons yet, but I have a feeling they're going to be coming soon. As you can see here, something's dug back a little bit, but I put down just a regular newspaper and then I put straw up against it. And then after the, uh, at the end of the season, I'll just be able to till the straw and the paper into the soil 
and um, it'll sort of fertilize for next for next season. These are some of the cantaloupes. We've got some flowers on the cantaloupes, and hopefully some of these will be producing something pretty soon. I'm gonna start seeing some melons in here, but I've got some little critters who are trying to eat around on some of my plants, and I'm not happy about that. But anyway, that's it. Garden update for June 13th. So yeah.